Today I'm showing this setup over here. This setup is uh, a setup as oscillator uh, circuitry, and the back EMF this time is being used to light up this light over here, and also being used to do real work, as they call it, to drive a DC motor. Uh, I'm running it to this wire, it's a uh, adapter, a grid adapter, it's around 14 to 15 volt DC input. The circuit is uh, basically, let me put this like this, let me tune it a little bit, so the light stops flickering. Um, the uh, circuit is basically like a, like, like a Jutif, you can say. Uh, I'm using ferrite core transformer, I want them myself. Uh, these are high frequency uh, transformer cores. You need high frequency transformer core, otherwise it will not work. Especially the output one. As you can see, my neon bulb is still light up. I have light over here also. And the same back EMF is going through the diode, it is a uh, fast recovery diode through this transformer, it is a one on one transformer through a breath rectifier and through these two capacitors over here these are capacitors of 15 volt DC at 25,000 UF each I have two in parallel, so it is 15 volt DC at 50,000 UF each Sorry. 50,000 UF both of them and the voltage in them is now 16.66 65 I can tune it with this spot over here to get more voltage to go lower but you have to find a good balance here's the DC motor running if I put my finger on the shaft you can see the voltage drop hope you can see that in one View. See now it, the voltage and the capacitor is now third, sorry, 15.40 and climbing. Gonna put some more pressure on the shaft. It's a pretty uh, big uh, DC motor, not super big, but not small either. The torque is pretty good. So in this system, in this setup, I have light coming off the, the back EMF, like we all do, everyone is doing that, but also this time I have real work, as they call it, in this case a small DC uh, motor turning over here, very simple setup. I haven't seen no one doing something like that, I don't know why, but it's very simple, it's very straightforward. You don't need to be a rocket scientist for this. Uh, just some common sense and some uh, fantasy and just go for it. As you can see in the dark, the voltage in the capacitor is still climbing. I can tune it with the pot to be stable around this voltage. But, uh, or go higher and so on and so on pretty good light the light is awesome as always I'm using a tip 35.5 transistor uh, the heatsink is not warm not even warm just cold Transformer are also cold. Um, fast recovery diode, 100k pot, uh, just basic stuff, you know, some wood, some uh, screws, capacitor. Uh, for those of you wondering, the uh, transformer is on the um, on the diode that is coming from the collector, and the other lead from the transformer is going to the positive of the input not the negative the positive 
put it on a negative it will work but not as good positive is the best let the system tell you where it wants to be and now you have a oscillator circuit working with um, light and also let me turn back on the meter and also back EMF doing work back EMF going to a transformer a high frequency transformer Rec full wave bridge rectifier this is not a uh, fast recovery diodes full wave bridge uh, should I do that also but anyway this is just a yeah, proof of concept you can call it and capacitor if I play with the um, the pot you will see the voltage pot is now going up rapidly but the light is start to flicker the light is not steady the motor speed increases of course because the voltage is going higher but I want to come back a little lower now now the light is stable and pleasant for the eyes the voltage still keep climbing up now it's flickering again so I have to go a little bit lower you really need a potentiometer over here so you can tune the system I don't want it to climb too much because these capacitors are rated 15 volts so uh, 16.68 yeah they can handle that gonna put some pressure on the shaft again and see the voltage decreasing 15.5 now 15.60 put some pressure on it again now it's 15 volts some pressure one more time 13.5 and it will climb again back to its original start so yeah back EMF can be used to do some useful work anyway it's just a test I just wanted to know because I read a lot on back EMF that they can do work and you know stuff like that so I decided to test it myself and yeah it can do work depending on how you configure your system this is an oscillator for those of you who have a post motor running with back EMF um, you may use you can or I have to say that uh, you may be able to use a normal transformer with laminated core because uh, post motor have a lower frequency of course you can try it but if your post motor have a pretty high RPM it is best to use a transformer with a core that is uh, made for high frequency I already tested this one with the laminated core and I didn't get almost no output so high frequency core is important depending on your setup one more time in the dark as you can see the voltage keeps on climbing good lighting and of course you have a small DC motor and uh, if I had a little propeller on this DC motor you have got lights at night and also have some cool breeze you know to cool you down to relax you up <laughs> anyway hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching